control tools, navigation is mainly done by using keyboard shortcuts. However, for editing, you'll be using the trim tool, the select tool, and the grab tool. It is useful to know that they can be combined into a super tool known as the smart tool uh, by clicking on the frame above the other tools. More about that later on. As the name depicts, the trimmer tool allows you to alter the length of the clip. The selector tool selects. And the grabber tool lets you drag the clip to a different position. The edit modes, slip and grid. sets how you can edit the clips in the timeline. In slip mode, you can edit the clip freely. And in grid mode, the editing is dependent on the denomination set. You can also temporarily use the slip mode by holding down the command key while in grid mode. When using the Smart tool, all the devices are combined and how you select them depends on where on the clip you're hovering. At the bottom of the clip you'll see the Grabber tool, at the top of the clip the Select tool becomes active, and moving to each of the borders of the clip will engage the Trim tool. In addition, when working with the Smart Tool, you can also quickly add fades to the clip by moving the pointer to the top part of the borders, like this. Hold down the Command key to adjust the fades freely in time. <laughs> 